Well, The Lost World, what can I say? It's one of those classic silent films that as much as a relic of its time as it is a piece of entertainment. Directed by Harry O. Hoyt and based on Arthur Conan Doyle's novel, it's one of the first movies to bring dinosaurs to life on the screen. And, for better or worse, that's exactly what it does. Bring these creaky stop-motion dinosaurs to life in all their jerky, unpolished glory. The plot is a typical boys' adventure yarn because, of course, it is. A motley crew of explorers head off into an uncharted plateau in South America where prehistoric creatures have somehow survived millions of years. Giant dinosaurs roam the land and a love triangle plays out in the most understated way possible and there's a whole lot of wide-eyed overacting, which, in fairness, is about all you could do in a silent film. Now let's talk about the effects, the dinosaurs. Created by stop-motion wizard Willis O'Brien, they were a technical marvel for the time. You've got to give them a credit where it's due, because this was groundbreaking stuff in 1925. Sure, by today's standards, they look like wobbly puppets moving out of two frames per second, but back then it was like nothing anyone had ever seen. People must have been gawking at the screen in shock, unable to believe their eyes as these clunky lizards stomped around. The acting is a bit, well, let's be charitable and say it's expressive. Wallace Beery as the bombastic Professor Challenger is easily the standout here. He's basically just grumpy and belligerent for the whole 100 minutes, and you can't help but chuckle at his absurd bravado. The rest of the cast? serviceable but don't expect anyone to leave a lasting impression they're there to gawk at dinosaurs faint and flail their arms around in terror what really sinks the film though is the pacing it drags it's hard the silent film format doesn't help as scenes are often overlong with intertitles popping up to explain basic things that modern films would show in a fraction of the time it feels like an endurance test at points, with moments of dinosaur action barely breaking up the endless trampling around the jungle. But here's the thing, The Lost World isn't about compelling characters or a tight plotting, it's about spectacle. And back in 1925, this was a spectacle. The sheer novelty of seeing dinosaurs on screen brought to life in any form was enough to carry the film. In that sense, it's a historical landmark, even if modern audiences might find that hard to sit through. Final thoughts? Well, it's a movie best appreciated for what it represents rather than what it actually delivers. The special effects for their time were revolutionary and they paved the way for better films to come. As a piece of cinematic history, it's important, sure, but as a movie to watch for fun, maybe have a drink or two before you drive in, you'll need it. Thanks for watching. If you thought the first dinosaur film was interesting, then you're going to want to see what the Russians did with the first science fiction movie. Hit that notification button. You keep in touch with yourselves and I'll speak to you later. Bye.